Hey guys, Ricky Analog. Just going to do a trade recap update on the the swing trade on AMRN from yesterday. As always guys, make sure you know the disclaimer. It's all for informational purposes. This is not a solicitation to trade. Trading is risky and this disclaimer is in the description of our YouTube videos. So here's the trade guys. Unfortunately, I had a little hiccup at the end where I uh, thought that I canceled the cover down at 1702 so that I could whack out down here at 1712. I actually covered uh, I covered half of what I was swinging on the flush through 18 and then was looking for 17 for the next area and I wanted to hold the very last piece for 15. Um, and like I said, I had an order at 1702 when it came down through here. I ended up just saying, you know what, I'll t I'm not gonna be a dick for a tick and I'm gonna smack out at 1712. So I, I, I hit escape to cancel the live orders that I should have had open and then I hit 1712 and I didn't even really pay attention, but apparently when I hit escape, it did not cancel the 1702 order. So uh, in fact, I accidentally um, was, I think I covered a little more than what I had. And then uh, was try I thought that I was actually still short some, so I covered a little more and in, in, in real reality, it put me net long a little more, but it was okay. I ended up just selling at 17. I think I got out at 1799 for actually a small amount of green on the long, which was completely accidental. But the real, the real mess up was not getting that 1702 order canceled. Like I thought I did. I've been having some issues with my, uh, with my broker over here at Lightspeed. In fact, when I turned the platform on this morning, it showed me as net flat everything. And this, I had this exact problem with NBEV a few weeks ago and uh, it's, it's caused me a lot of headaches. So I'll probably do a recap or a video on Lightspeed and some of the issues I've had with them. Uh, it'll be a little bit later because I'm trying to get some money back out of them. They owe me some money from the NBEV problem we had. So I will not make that video until I get my money out of them and then I can switch brokers. But guys, till then, uh, I'm not recommending Lightspeed as a broker at all. And as soon as I can be, I will be out of there um, but yeah that was the swing on AMRN and if you remember guys I was short from 1960 it was this breakup here in 1966 I was short from 1964 and let's look at the daily guys this is what happens when you get a lower high and then a lower low that's all this is guys this is just what we were hoping would happen on the fact that they couldn't bust through new highs and then they made new lows. So what's that signaling? Signaling a trend change. And uh, if this thing goes to 15 today, I'll probably be uh, wiping my eyes with dollar bills. Anyway, guys, stay safe out there. Protect your capital. Keep on crushing it. And uh, come check us out at stocktraders.net if you haven't already. Peace.